Do you find some foods extra bitter? Do you wince when you eat strong flavored foods like cabbage and citrus fruits like lemons and oranges? Then you are what the medical community calls a super taster. You're watching TV9 News and I'm Prajwal D'Souza. So why am I talking about super tasters today? It is because researchers are now claiming that super tasters or people who are more sensitive to taste are less likely to be infected by COVID-19 and are less likely to be hospitalized due to the disease. Sounds a little weird, right? How is having sensitivity to taste decrease your chances of infecting with COVID-19? To understand this, we need to look at what the researchers found. But before we go to that, let me first tell you ways in which you can identify if you are a super taster. There are three ways in which, in which your sensitivity to taste can be identified. You are either a super taster, a medium taster or a non-taster. So how can you determine if you are a super taster? There are a couple of ways to do that. Now one common way is that if you find foods too bitter in taste. Now you might be a super taster. Also what you can do is you can apply a drop of blue food coloring to the tip of your tongue or if you have red wine you can swirl in your mouth to darken it a little bit. When you do that you can find papillae or small fleshy projections on the surface of your, of your tongue. If you have more than 30 of them, you are a super taster. So now that you understood what a super taster is, let us look at the study. The high sensitivity in super tasters arises due to a genetic mutation in the taste gene called T2R38. Now researchers from the US city of Louisiana's sinus and you know several nasal specialists have now found that people with T2R38 mutation are likely be less infected by COVID-19 and the chances of hospitalization are also less if they get infected with COVID-19. Now the researchers conducted the study on nearly 2000 people. The study group included non-tasters or people who are unable to detect bitter flavors, super tasters and normal tasters. Researchers found that nearly 266 participants had tested positive for COVID-19 and the results showed that non-tasters were more likely to get infected with COVID-19 and were more likely to have a severe COVID-19 compared to tasters and super tasters. As of now, the researchers noted that the reason for this remains unclear, but the ability of super tasters to produce more nitric oxide might be a possibility as nitric oxide can damage any coronavirus particles. Dr. Henry Barham, who led the research said and I quote, when T2R38 is stimulated, it responds by producing nitric oxide to help kill or prevent further replication of viruses in the respiratory mucosa." Unquote. Now let's talk to immunologist Dr. Sitesh Roy to understand clearly how super tasters might be less likely to get infected with COVID-19. Now doctor, what is your take on the study? So Prajwal, this is a very interesting study, I would say, because it has long been known that super tasters, what are called normal tasters and uh, non-tasters are three groups of people ba based on the genetic inheritance who have differences in their taste receptors, which has been tied in to a lot of physiological natural functions in the body, including our immune system. So for us to find out through this initial evaluation that people who are super tasters either do not catch the COVID or get it only mild and can fight it off faster uh, is certainly something that is very interesting and worth further pursuing. Um, I believe we will require larger and, and more detailed studies and analysis to understand how this is happening. Doctor. Is there a possibility that genetic mutation in taste gene might determine the possibility of getting infected by COVID-19? Most certainly, I believe that uh, because the taste genes, what is called T2R38, and it has something called homozygous non-tasters, heterozygous, which are mixed inheritance, and super tasters who have both genes that make them very sensitive to bitter taste, have long been known to be connected to our innate immune system, which is our first defense mechanism against any virus or bacteria. And it is believed that tasting foods that are toxic or bitter 
and may cause a problem in the body once they enter is one of the defense mechanisms by which the human system alerts itself. Also, we know that mucociliary clearance, the way in which the mucus layer protects our respiratory tract and moves it around so that bacteria and viruses can't invade it or spread inside it, is also linked to the taste gene. Besides this, the production of something called nitric oxide is also related to the taste gene and hence the bitter taste gene T2R38 is a very interesting target to look at if people with super tasting have less severe infection or no infection due to COVID-19. Now doctor, were the results of the study encouraging? Does it warrant further studies and research? Certainly the results of this study are very interesting in my opinion because again our first line of defense before a vaccine can work on our adaptive immune system and prepare us to fight off a possible invasion by the virus. It's our innate immune system that's our first line of defense. So any kind of a trigger that can help us better understand what makes our innate immune system strong so that people get only a mild infection or possibly remain asymptomatic or don't get infected at all would be a huge advancement in our understanding on how to be able to better combat and fight off this viral pandemic across the globe. So certainly there can be therapeutic uh, processes also that can come out of this entire research. So I absolutely believe it is worth studying further. Well, as of now, there is no substantial proof that if you are a super taster, you might be less likely to get infected by COVID-19. Hence, it is important for you to follow all the safety measures to stay safe from the coronavirus. Do let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you like this content, do give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to TV9 News on all the social media platforms. Thank you for watching and have a great day.